take me for the second time today. I'm gonna turn this down. Listening to some 80s jams. Gotta love the 80s. Anyways, I was up at the crack, ass crack at dawn this morning. No joke. Around five o'clock. And um, I had to get my son to uh, work for 6.15, so we got him there. I came back. I uh, did a little bit of straightening. I got one of the babies up, brought him to day camp, daycare. Got back and got the other babies up. And then I get a call saying this little baby I just dropped off at daycare a couple hours ago isn't feeling so well. So, back to town we go. It's gonna be one of those days. You gotta have some days like this to really enjoy the more laid back days, right? So, we had a pretty adventurous weekend or you know activities and outings and things like that so today is a catch-up day if I have to do some cuddles and cartoons some snacks some soups it's all good all good in the neighborhood all right guys I'm home today I am going to try to get this stinking flower done oh it's been sitting here for a couple of days all right so uh, yeah it's been sitting here a couple of days these jars are all washed. I haven't put them in the oven yet because I'm going to put them in the oven later. There's a the big bag of flour. I got, um, we got at Costco a while ago. It was in the freezer for over a week, but um, it'll kill any kind of like weevil eggs that are in there. I know it doesn't look like there's anything in there, but no matter how clean the factory is, there's always something in there. And we don't need any critters in there. So, uh, Also canning flour too will kill anything that might be in there. Please ignore my countertop. This is those going on the cob I gotta deal with. And we just had lunch. We, I whipped up uh, a quick spaghetti. My beautiful pregnant eldest daughter was here and she had a hankering. So we had to have lunch. So two birds, that's what that is. But you can see my oven is on 200. And I got jars in here that were thoroughly washed and then I stick them in the oven for, well, at least a half hour at 200 just to kind of sanitize them. And they're gonna, they're piping hot, I'm not going to touch them. But I'm going to take them out and put them on the t table in just a minute. And then I'm going to fill them up with flour. So I'll bring you back when I'm all ready to rock. Alright, I got my setup. I just put that bag of flour on my kitchen chair and cut the top off. Got my little scoop out of my flour canister in the cupboard. These are the hot jars. I'm going to let them sit a minute before I start loading them up. My rings, the jars that I just need to sanitize, but I'll do those after I fill these. I don't know how many jars I'm going to need for this big bag. And the tops. We're not going to put those in water today, guys. We don't We don't want any water in this. these kind of jars. I reason I bake them, not only to sanitize them, but to make sure that they're bone dry. You don't want any liquid in these jars at all. At all. So, I'll get you up on a tripod. Then we'll get to work. All right, folks. These I need to get to these jars before they get cold, because you don't want cold, cold jars. I just had a couple of things to do before, and I could have left. Well, I could have left all the jars in and did one jar at a time, but I didn't today. So, so what we're gonna do? I have my funnel here. Um, just put it in and. And like, uh, unlike regular canning, you want to get these jars as full as possible. Bring it right up to the top if you can. Um, whereas other canning, you know, you need a little head space. If you can get it right up to the tip top, even better. Now, disclaimer, guys. Oh, here comes Mr. Mays, Yang, and what, what Mays? My poopy. Your poopy? Oh, for heavens to Betsy. Okay, go on out. Mommy, change you in just a minute. Okay, you go lay down. I'll be right there, babe. Okay, I'm coming. Go get a diaper and I'll be right out. I'm just talking to my friends. So, full disclaimer, guys. Um, do your own research. I say that with anything I'm canning. But this is an old style of canning. This is what people used to do. Uh, and it worked for generations. Now, manufacturers, you know, in some books, I might tell you not to do this, so you, you do your research. I'm just showing you what I do. 
The reason why I just do that to the jar, guys, because it looks like it's filling up, but there's always a little bit more room in there that you can squeeze some in. I'm going to get this jar done, and then I'll go finish up these jars after I change little Mr.'s bum out there. And, uh, there. Oh, it's getting there. It's almost there. These are half gallon jugs, guys, um, jars. And uh, I don't really use these for anything else except for. All right, hold your, hold the phone, guys. Hold the. All right, I'm back. My hands are completely clean, guys. It's just. I, as you stay at home moms and dads know, we're in high demand from high to low. Okay. Ooh. And I was to make sure that these are clean oven mitts. I know they look, they're old, but they're clean. Uh, I need to be extra careful because I don't want, um, I don't want anything not, you know, like on the surface so it doesn't, uh, doesn't seal. Oh, for goodness sakes, Tracy, spit it out. Oh. Anyways, I'll, uh, I'll finish this one and then I'll do a close-up one in hot, you know, fast motion and then I'll finish them all and we'll put them in the oven. So, what I do here, oh, that's not too bad now. See, I, I want it up. A little higher. Sorry this is taking me so long guys. I'm a little frazzled because I don't want flour all over my kitchen but it's so deceiving because it looks like it's full and then you tap it down and there's more room. Amazing Mumford. That's what my mom used to say. Amazing Mumford. There I'd say that's good. There's a little space but not too bad. So I'm just going to dust that off. We're going to put this in the oven with the rest of them. Again, this is a clean towel, tea towel. This is all clean. I changed the towels and everything. I'm going to put this in the oven along with the rest of them for an hour to two hours. So I'm going to do about an hour and a half because they're big, they're big jugs. And uh, then we'll be back. I try not to let the jars um, touch. I use this if they, because the, the bottom rack will bow a little bit just because they're big heavy jars, right? And I just poke this in between to separate them and then I'm gonna shut this oven up, set the timer for an hour and a half and we'll be back. All right guys, my buzzer just went off for, it's been an hour and a half. So I'm gonna take one jar out at a time because I wanna make sure that these jars stay hot when I put the lids on them. So I'm gonna do one at a time. Um, yeah, Whew. I want to shut that oven up right away. So, let's see, can you see this? Let me move it up a little closer. So what we need to do now is to take a damp, very damp, or not very damp, like not a wet cloth, but just lightly damp and do just the rim. You don't want to get any moisture in that jar. And I don't soak these lids either because this jar is going to be hot enough to let this soften up. And we put the lid on it. And with this, we're supposed to tighten it as tight as we can. There we go. There's one. And it, uh, it should seal itself after a while. As it cools down, it'll cause a suction. Let's get another one here. Okay. 
Now I still have about a quarter of that big bag left. I could probably get another four or five jars, which I'm gonna do. I'm just not gonna do it till after supper because now it's about time to make some supper for my family. Um, oh, that's hot. Um, now people might ask, why do you can flour? But a flour will go rancid after a while. There is an expiration date on flour. Uh, it's generally, I think, three years, or it goes bad after three years. But um, if you can it, people have tested it, you know, seven years down the road, and it's still perfectly fine if it's canned. Ooh, that's hot. Also, if you happen to have a cottage or a cabin in the woods, and you understand, you can't leave canned food there over the winter if it's not uh, protected, because it'll freeze. Ooh. Ooh. But if you um, have dry canned things, because you can dry can, oven can rice and beans and oats and uh, all that sort of thing. Oats and beans and barley. If you think of that Rafi song. Anyways, you can you can can all those things, and no matter how hot it gets or how cold it gets, this is going to be perfectly fine. It's not going to be ruined or anything. A good way to store. Whew, store some dry goods. Hey, what if zombies come? I'm just teasing guys, but you know, all the silliness that's going on out there. Um, seriously though, if, if there happened to be a grid down scenario, Lord forbid, you could still have, well, flour for instance, but you could still have oatmeal and beans and uh, lentils or anything like that. And they'd still be okay, perfectly fine. So, I'm gonna finish taking these out of the oven and when they're all done, we'll be back so you can see. All right, supper's all done. I went and collected uh, my teenager from work and here's the last um, eight jars, half gallon jars of flour. So, uh, all right, y'all, it's early in the morning, and I took the last eight jars out of the oven before I went to bed, and they've all sealed. So, I have 20 half gallon jars of flour, and yeah, they'll last for years to come. Um, I'm really excited about it. I'm just gonna turn this light on. So, I'll just uh, admire these for today and then I'll I'll go put them either down in the cellar or in my pantry or something like that. I'm not going to put them all out in the pantry because they'll take up a lot of space but yeah that's how I do it. So anyways thanks for tagging along seeing you know seeing how I can flower and uh, please like share and subscribe. Um, peace love and happiness and I think the next Canon project I got about 50 pounds of uh, apples to deal with so lots to come all right have a good day folks